Hello friends, I'm the vegan. I'm making banana milk, banana milk smoothie today. That's one of my favorite smoothies. I have different kinds of smoothies. Um, basically this one, banana milk, has several advantages. First, I have a base that is pretty firm. That's easy to understand and easy to make. It is just bananas. And um, I make a banana milk with maybe nuts or seeds to make it creamy. Or also I could put lemon in to keep the banana fresh and light. So there is a, a three ingredients usually and can always be varied with different uh, plants. The, the base of the banana and you can refine it. Here I show you have two uh, large or three smaller bananas as you wish. In this case a lot of banana is the main ingredient of the banana milk. I put it into the blender right away before I show you the other two ingredients, the banana milk. Here I have a, <clears throat> a lemon. It's a large lemon and it's half of a lemon peeled. And I have two parts of the peel, two pieces, I will put into the milk because I guess it, in this case the flavor fits perfectly. Because, you know, in a lemon it's a very healthy fruit. Um, it is, seems to be sour, but it is not sour on the inside of the, of the, of the, of the system. It uh, is alkaline, alkalizing. So that is very good once, and it is antioxidant for the for the banana. It doesn't let, uh, make the banana brown; keeps it light. And the sour, the acidity, is more in the fruit, in the flesh. Yeah, and that um, and the antioxidant effect and the flavor of the lemon, the lemony flavor, that is more in the peel, so in the in the in the zest. So the whole thing is very healthy. And has many benefits and I will use a little bit of the peel here because it, a very, it has a very strong flavor too and I guess the other ingredients I have they can do that. For example if I would use ginger in the recipe I would think twice if I used the, the zest because ginger and zest and I have two different very strong flavors sometimes it's enough to have only one. You could also use both but in general yeah, for the general uh, purposes uh, I would just um, take uh, small amounts of, of, uh, of differences there, so or different fl flavor kinds. So beginning with one always. So this is here the lemon zest um, with the lemon together with the banana. And the third ingredient to make it creamier is um, cashew nuts. You can also take other different different kinds of, of um, nutty parts, see fatty parts. Uh, for example, recently I used the hemp seeds and the hemp seeds um, have a very different texture and flavor from the cashews. They have another, um, another nutrient values, nutritional values, and the hemp seeds, there are um, amino acids and proteins and fats, where the cashews are more fats and minerals. Um, and, but the cashews, they taste different. They are very gentle in flavor. I love the cashews, one of my favorite nuts. And um, I'm going to try this time the cashews and we'll see what happens. Yeah. I didn't do that before. I will see. I used it once in a soup with sorrel. Uh, we'll use the, show you the sorrel later. And that was perfect. Now I tried in the smoothie with the ingredients here. Put the water. That means maybe a, a small cup of water or so to begin. I will see the texture later. To begin, I always be careful with the quantities, as I already mentioned. So let's see the blender dance. of these banana milks is that you can have a nut milk, yeah, the banana milk is can also be a nut milk in a way, without filtering it. Usually when I make nut milks, like uh, almond milks for example, and I blend the, the, the almonds with the water and then I filter through nut milk back because the fiber 
in the nuts is so strong, the nut flour is so unpleasant to drink, they have to figure it out. Some people don't mind to drink it, okay, it's up to them, it's, not, it's nothing bad to drink the fiber or the, the nut meal, nut flour, but usually people try to filter it out. So with the banana milks, you have the banana texture, the fiber on the banana, that makes the nut, um, the texture of the nut, uh, invisible. You cannot detect it. It's so it's very nice to have uh, some nuts in the bananas. It's, you have this nut milk without filtering it. So it's so easy. There are many advantages of banana milks. And I see here, and the texture is very nice. I like the texture. It's runny still. But the other ingredients I will put will make it a little bit more creamy. And the first now flavor, texture in the mouth, and then later next ingredients. Mm. Ah, I really like it. <clears throat> and I got the right amount of, of the peel. I could even put some more peel. It doesn't really matter here. It's very nice. Peel is not wrong here, okay. But my banana milk is here. And now I put, this is one part, I put two more parts to make my smoothie. So the smoothie here is a sorrel smoothie. It's a green smoothie and I have this sorrel that is a herb from wild herb from the lawn. This one I bought in the farmer's market. I found a nice farmer's market once a week. They come to Berlin and sell their wild herbs, among others. Um, mostly wild herbs they have, or salads, wild salads too, great variety. And I was so happy to find the sorrel because it's hard to find usually. I don't find them in other shops that easily. I didn't find them on the lawn anymore, as in my youth when I was little. I always ate it on the lawn. It's delicious, very sour, but not in a bad way sour. Not even like rhubarb. It's similar to rhubarb. It can be used as a spice too. Yeah? Spicy ingredient in the food. And now I have used it in the soup. It's very nice with the soup. And it's a classic Israel soup. And now I use it in a smoothie. It's also very nice, I guess. And together with an apple. That was the choice today I made to combine as a second ingredient here. Um, apple and sorrel, I guess that must be wonderful. So let's see if that's true. So first the half an apple goes in and a handful of sorrel here. It's a handful. Yeah, you can take the stems, no problem. They're very gen gen tender. They can easily blend up. So I don't take too much of the sorrel. Maybe later I would be more, <laughs> more daring and, and, tie, and could try to take more quantity a double quantity or so. But to start with, I take only a small amount. And by the way, green herbs, as we know they are so healthy because of all the great nutrients inside and the fiber of the, the, fiber, um, the fiber of the greens, they are what we need most, the chlorophyll, the fiber, and many nutrients in the greens and enzymes and so. That is very important because eating mostly fruit, yeah, that is my favorite food, I would say fruit is it always fruit if I can get them. <laughs> but if you eat so many fruits, you don't have enough. Um, yeah, to, to get all the nutrients you need, you have to eat a huge amount of fruits. So to make it very more economic, a little more economic, I eat more greens. And then I need to eat little fruit only, although not too much. I mean, otherwise I could eat only fruit. That wouldn't really work because I would eating would end up eating fruit all the day. I cannot do that because I have too much to do. I have too many other things to do than eating. Yeah? I cannot do all the things together with eating. I don't like that. I like a little bit of more of um, eating and resting from eating. The system can work on its own without having uh, to digest. And so that's what I like, not to be free from the food. But sometimes in a day, small time, in the day zone, I eat. And that's what I like. Others have other uh, ways to plan their meals. But to me, it is rather a small time of the day that I eat and the rest I relax my body I let my body relax in the inside that's a nice rhythm for me uh, so like day and night so um, we don't need that much of the greens but some greens uh, I try to eat uh, every day because that gives me a, a really a good boost of more most important nutrients that are not so easy to get with the fruit so greens every day that is a, something I try to do it doesn't need to be so much. Yeah? This, the quantity is not so, not so important. A small amount like this would be nice. Let's see.
light sourly sourness is so mm, so wonderful and the color is nice the texture very nice I like everything I see and I smell I like now let's see the taste let's taste it mm. oh wonderful like before when I used it in a smoothie different kinds of acidity of sourness that is from the sorrel, very sour, from the lemon and the zest, two different kinds and also very nice. From the apple is a little bit sour, so we have three different kinds of sour here. Amazing. Now, let's yeah, I'll show you the, the color and the texture. It's really worth a look. You see, this wonderful pastel color, the broken bright colors are called pastel. I mean, you put some white in a, in a bright color and you have a pastel. And these are very gentle, very nice. Soothing, calm. I like. I like all the kind of all kind of colors, <laughs> but they all have their different characteristics. These are pastels. Uh, very nice. Um, so yeah, this is a wonderful smoothie, a green smoothie, and it will keep for a while because the nuts are in there, and the apple also a little bit keeps off for, also for a while. So um, there are a lot of, lot of fibers in the apple, and the seeds is in the apple too. So it keeps along a little bit more than just only fruits. Also a reason why I like to add some nuts of seeds to fruits, some fatty parts and proteins. Okay, thanks a lot for watching. I hope you enjoyed as much as I, at least. <laughs> and uh, you can also subscribe, I would be glad, uh, my YouTube channel MD Vegan. You have another recipe every single day and you find me on Facebook, Instagram, Pinterest, Twitter. Hope to see you soon.